Hey folks, Alex Woodall, field agronomist, North Central Iowa. Wanted to go over a few things with the planter today uh, as we start dragging them out of the shed and getting ready for the spring that are important items to consider. I think many of us look at the disc openers as one of the main things that we need to be uh, looking at uh, replacing, which is a great thing to always keep in mind as we are um, checking out different things in the planter to maintain. Another thing is your seed tubes. Uh, those are uh, oftentimes something that's a uh, high wear item to look at. One of the things that I find that's commonly wore out that uh, some guys have a tendency to overlook is their gauge wheel arm bushings. With the gauge wheel arm bushing, one of the things that we want to look at is the slop that it has or creates within the uh, gauge wheel arm itself. Um, the key thing that we want to be able to do is we want that gauge wheel to be able to rub up against the disc opener uh, effectively throughout the whole course of the uh, planting season. Um, what that allows is two things. It keeps the dry dirt uh, out of the, uh, uh, being able to get back in that seed trench zone. Uh, and we keep the dry dirt out of the treat seed trench zone. We're able to keep our furrow moisture to a higher content to allow uh, excellent quicker germination. And the other thing is it helps rub the mud uh, off of the disc opener as well. Uh, another key feature, keeping that uh, gauge wheel up snug against uh, the uh, disc opener. Uh, when that bushing on the gauge wheel arm starts to wear out, you start creating slop that you just have a hard time uh, getting tight uh, with the gauge wheel arm bolt um, to tighten it up enough to be able to get that slop out. So the gauge wheel arm bushing is an easy wear item to replace. Um, and again, something I see a lot of guys uh, have a tendency to overlook uh, when they're redoing some of the things on their planter. Another thing that I have a tendency to see that guys overlook is your closing tailpiece bushings that are located right there. Um, if you have too much slop in your, your tailpiece, you have a tendency to not get your furrow closed correctly. Another thing that I see guys add on planters uh, quite often is uh, these aftermarket uh, closing wheel systems. For example, like the uh, furrow cruiser system shown here. One of the things that I see guys have a tendency to make a mistake on is the uh, width between uh, the closing point right here and the bottom. Um, utilize those bushings that are right there, or the washers I should say, uh, that are right there to help uh, set the width, the correct width apart, to create the best uh, closing uh, opportunity uh, for your seed trench. And many times it's a matter of just simply asking the manufacturer of the uh, aftermarket closing wheel what they feel is the right width uh, uh, between the, the narrowest point on these closing wheels. So. Um, Good thing to ask and consider and know the right width uh, before you start uh, making the installations. And also make sure that you get your planter meters checked out each year annually. Uh, one of the things I see quite a bit uh, of is uh, excessive wear on planter meters uh, in the unit itself and also on the seed discs. Uh, with that, uh, hopefully we covered a few of the highlights or key tips that I've noticed uh, that some guys have a tendency to overlook. Uh, there's many great planter checklists out there to utilize to kind of walk through step by step on your planter and a lot of really good people at our local dealerships to be able to help us uh, out as well to make sure you get your planter out and running uh, sufficiently throughout the season. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.